wisdom, prudentia, justice, justicia, temperance, temperantia, courage, fortitudo. Applying ancient philosophy to modern life, this is the Sunday Stoic. Hey everybody, Steve here. This week's episode is a little bit different. No hardcore Stoic themed here, just uh, some thoughts and comments of me trying to apply Stoicism on a 12-hour road trip with my wife, dog, and two-year-old son. So nothing profound, but you might enjoy it. If you live in the city, you might enjoy hearing the sounds of country life and things like that. So on this uh, first part of the episode, you're going to hear my introduction to the road trip, and I'll check back in along several stops along the way to the family farm in Ohio. So this drive is from Arkansas to Ohio, so it takes around 12 hours or so. Pretty long day in the car. Good morning. Welcome to the Sunday Stoic Podcast. This is Steve. Let me turn down my microphones a little bit here. Um, It's 5.37 in the morning. Of course, we were going to leave at uh, 5 and uh, we're already late, but that's all right. We are preparing to head out. My little boy's in the car calling for mommy while she's in the house grabbing the last of the things. Charlie, where are we going? To Ohio. To Ohio, that's right. So we are getting ready to roll. Mommy. Oh yeah, this is going to be a fun I 12 hours. Mommy, Time for some premeditatio malorum. The dog's going to whine, the child's going to cry, traffic so will be annoying, <laughs> annoying if I let it be. All right, everybody. Mommy. Wish me luck. You want, to, you want to say say anything to the listeners? Here we go. Some premeditatio malorum. What do we have to remember will happen so we don't react overly uh, when it does? There's going to be stupid people on the road, and we just have to be prepared for that. <laughs> Charlie's going to get you know frustrated and stress out, but we're going to be okay. We're all going to survive this. We can do it. <laughs> and I have a sinus infection, so I will be slightly grumpy, but I will try my best. All right, everybody. Wish us luck. I'm going to get a bottle of water. All right. And then I'm going to set Would the you, alarm. All right. Do you want one, too? Sure. Like Thank you. Okay. Yeah. It has a made in a all right. We've made it a couple hours down the road. We're now in Pocahontas, Arkansas at the Made in America store. And we will soon be proceeding into the state of Missouri and then across the mighty Mississippi River. How's the travel going so far, Chrissy? It's not been so bad. I know that Charlie had a good nap and we got mm, to see a lot but, of... Uh, snow geese flying, which was quite amazing, the thousands of the geese flying over. The dog's been a little whiny, and Charlie cried a little, but was, so far it's been bad. tolerable. And now we have potato chips and cheese, so yeah, I think life is we'll, good. we'll be alright. So I'm going to eat one on the air here. Can you enjoy that stoically? Mm-hmm. Marcus Aurelius would have been proud how I ate that potato chip. <laughs> Rue Farms potato Rustic chips. Potato Chips. You want? Chips. Can you say hi, everybody? Hi. Can you say the Sunday Stoic? Sunday Stoic. Thank you, Charlie. That's the podcast. All right. We're going to head down the road, guys. Later. Bye. Stop it. Charlie, you have to get you dressed. Now we're in uh, Sykeston, yeah. Missouri. And my little boy was sitting next to me in a parking lot on his potty chair in the car <laughs> while I ate my healthy Subway sandwich. Well, at least he didn't actually pee right next to you. That's true. Because he, he'd already peed in his diaper. Yeah. But it's all about trying. We're trying to do that. I'm, so I'm just, probably just, dehydrated. I've been snacking on just, cheese curds just, 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 and other salty just, things just, and uh, just, just trying to drive on. Just, I didn't have any coffee today. Just, and. Just, 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 and I probably should have had some of that to keep me going. I'm just feeling a little tired. We are six hours and 45 minutes from our destination. What do you think, Charlie? How do you like to drive so far? To Ohio. To Ohio. And we are... Uh, we're keeping sane. Charlie doesn't always keep quiet long enough to think. Uh, but 
He's been doing pretty good, really, so far. He's been entertaining himself with his little stuffed animals <laughs> and entertaining himself by throwing them on the ground and making Mommy pick them up. Yeah, at least yeah. I don't have to do that. I just have to keep the car between the lines. That's right. Yeah. But I figure we'll start reading some stories here. And yep. We will pretty, it shouldn't be too long, really, till he'll be needing to fall asleep again. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of crying before that happens. Cheetos, Cheetos, water, water. Yes, that's the healthy lifestyle. Oh, that we promote, isn't it, Charlie? I know that tastes kind of funny. Oh, don't lick that. That's a wet white, buddy. Yeah. All right. Well, this is going to be the most entertaining episode ever. <laughs> Chaotic madness that is our life on the road. All right. Oh. We're seizing the day, I tell you that much. So far, so good. We just stopped at a place called Boomland. If you want to Google it, it's a big gas station tourist trap that also sells fireworks. And then we went to uh, grab a sandwich, and we're getting back onto I-57 North, heading towards I-70 West. And from I-70 West, we will proceed <laughs> into Ohio. All right, well, I guess we will talk to you again in a little while. Woohoo! Woohoo! On the road again! Goldfish! Goldfish, all right, more snacks. Hey everybody, it's Steve coming to you from Terre Haute, Indiana. It's now 4.26 p.m. We have three hours and 13 minutes to go. Traffic's a little gnarly today. I've mostly kept my cool. There have been a few semi-trucks, or in Canada you'd call them semi-trucks, or lo lorries, I believe, in other English-speaking parts of the world, that have been very thick and then also somewhat unstable in their ability to stay in the lane and that's been a little nerve-wracking and frustrating but so far so good there's a little snow on the ground here and there charlie how are you holding up on this car ride you see, are you good yeah yeah good. are you gonna have some coffee yeah <laughs> all right yeah and graham crackers you know how to live my friend i'm gonna eat some walnuts yeah, anyway, so we are in Terre Haute, and we are going to go around Indianapolis, Indiana, and then home. And uh, while I'm not sitting here chanting Epictetus or anything, the principles of Stoicism have helped to keep a focus and a positive attitude, even though I'm tired and, uh, not, <laughs> and a little stressed, but uh, we're doing okay. All right, well, I will check in a little later. next block of audio you're going to hear um let's see we got there on saturday and you're going to hear sunday morning i slipped my phone out and hit record for a second at church so you'll hear me with my parents at the catholic church there in ohio and then it's going to go into uh, monday uh, which was an exciting day monday my brother and his wife left for the hospital to have uh have their uh, second child and also a calf was born on the farm and this part's going to be a little long. You can kind of skip through it if you want. But I hit record on my phone and I laid it down in the barn. And the barn is built uh, in such a way that there's several doors. several. There's one main human entrance, but there's several uh, animal entrances. And we're in the back of the barn and there's an area in there with straw on the ground. And there was a big cow and her uh, calf in there. And then outside, the calf, this new calf was born to another uh, cow, and it was born in the mud, and it was about, uh, it was below freezing. And we really needed to get m new mama cow and calf into the barn, but we didn't want the other mama to escape. And the other mama apparently is not very trustworthy. Um, she... Uh, my brother said she'd probably trample you if you made her mad. And so I was a little nervous about this. And you'll hear her aggression in the recording. So I hope you enjoy. Oh, and by the way, I laid the phone right by the hog feeder. So you'll hear hogs. You'll hear uh, cattle. Um, and you may hear other animals along the way. So I hope you enjoy this little clip. Like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Who hold fast. 
cast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. Okay. All right. So, I'm trying to keep Mama in here while letting another Mama uh -huh. through the other direction. And you're coming through holding the calf. Is that the plan? I'm going to carry the calf. You're cause... carrying the calf. I'm keeping this. How many pounds is she? Oh, probably about 1,800. This 1,800. I'll be the barrier between the outside world and this 1,800-pound Mama. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Just don't piss her off. Well, what the hell would I... I'm not going to poke her in the eye. <laughs> I can't believe how big that calf is. You're a big calf. You are. Just sort of stand here. Nut, nut, nut. Just close the door. <laughs> you back off. It's all right. We're just bringing another baby and mama in here. You are a big cow. Just so you know. So I'm standing here in the barn, <laughs> pig is to my right, and I'm in the pen with a, a mama and her baby, <laughs> a cow, of course, you can hear her, and uh, we had another one born this morning, unexpectedly, and so my dad's bringing the calf in here in a minute, and we're going to get the ma other mama in here to separate them out from the rest of the herd, <coughs> and... Um, <laughs> it's my apparent uh, job to keep this mom from exiting the building in the process and she really wants to go outside and she's a lot bigger than me so if this is the way I go out <laughs> trampled by a mama cow that'd be that'd look good on the obituary you back up. So far, no sign of my dad. <laughs> Simmer down now. Hey, you're bigger than me, but I'm smarter than you. You run at me. Well, then I guess I'm screwed. But anyway, we'll see if I can fly. I'll jump in with the pigs. What's going on, Pop? Yeah, well, Mama's getting awful close to me in here. It's kind of uncomfortable. Back up. You're a good mama. I'm not here to cause you any harm or discomfort. Just gotta keep you with your baby. Why don't you go over there? You got a whole 30 foot of barn and you have to be five feet from me? Is this necessary? I really, personally, don't want to be in here. I know. I know. You're bigger than me. I get it. You're scary. I understand. What? All right. All right, here I go. Stay back.
Yeah. You want to help me? Yeah. I don't really want to get cramped. I'm just, you're all right if you can just push him in. All right. Get back. Go on in, Mama. Get your hands back. Carried a cow today. Get on in there, Mama. Awesome. <laughs> in this final series of clips that I've spliced together here, um, you'll hear me reporting on the progress of my uh, why, well, my sister-in-law and brother's child. She was born healthy, and the ex that was excellent news. And we went to see her. Uh, she was born on the uh, let me think here Tuesday uh, before Thanksgiving, and. Then you'll hear me talking to my grandma, who's 97 years old and moved here from Europe when she was about seven, and she's telling me about a Czech saying that something along the lines of, as we approach New Year, the days get longer by about the length of a chicken's step. And so she's repeating that saying a few times. I was helping her to make a, a dessert for Thanksgiving dinner. And then, uh, you'll hear me ambush my friend Andy. Andy is a longtime friend of the family. Um, he uh, actually emailed me once and said he'd been listening to the podcast, so I ambushed him for a quick chat. And then you'll hear uh, just the one recording we made on the return trip back to Arkansas. So we just got back today. I'm just going to post this all together and put it up there for your enjoyment. And uh, I hope you uh, all had a good holiday if you happen to have had one this week. I know everyone's from all over the world and it varies upon your locality. Uh, but here in the U.S. it was Thanksgiving week where we take a day to uh, purpose, purposely focus on gratitude. And uh, as Stoics, we should try to do that every single day. Um, and... Uh, remember what we're thankful for and why we're thankful for it and also uh, understand that many of the things that we have are on loan and are not ours forever all right have a great week in carpe diem hey everybody steve here it's uh wednesday just before thanksgiving and uh yesterday my sister-in-law and brother had a baby girl uh, eight pounds and eight ounces, so we're all very excited about that. We went to see her yesterday, and uh, we're helping now to uh, take care of uh, their their son, who's about three. Well, he is three three years old. He just turned three the other day, so we're doing our familial duties there. We've been visiting with our uh, great grandma, my my grandma, my son's great grandma, and uh, letting her enjoy his company since. She doesn't get to see him very often. 
and uh, I've been helping take care of the critters on the farm a little bit and just uh, enjoying the company here and once again not being terribly good at moderation when it comes to snacking and things that my <laughs> my mom has a fridge full of stuff and is always getting things out and so I'm I have not good at uh, at resisting that so I need to probably work on that a little bit but um I think this will be a fun episode and you know once again when I put it together uh won't be terribly uh <laughs> you know stoic in the sense that I'm here throwing stoic dogma at you or anything but I'm just sharing uh the life a day in the life of my life and then occasionally relating it to stoicism and um Epictetus talks about familial duties and and uh you'll know what your duties are when you think of your role as son or daughter um and in this case uh uncle <laughs> so we're reading stories to my nephew because he's really missing his mom and dad who've been in the hospital for like three days now and he hasn't he only got to see him for about an hour yesterday and he doesn't really understand what's going on and he's worried about his this new sister idea and what he doesn't know quite what that means so we've been spending extra time with him and uh just trying to get him used to that idea and just I'm just enjoying spending a little time in the place where I grew up because it's all strange how sentimental things become when you come back home and you know there's the little restaurant where you used to eat and and you see the sights you used to see on a daily basis and took for granted and now when you come back to them with fresh eyes they look a little different and some things you just sort of sort of take you back and that's been interesting to 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 see that and think about that but anyway um I will do a few more recordings on this trip, probably, maybe a little on the way back, uh, maybe a little while we're celebrating Thanksgiving, and then put this all together. But uh, I appreciate you taking this side detour away from the normal episode format with me. Uh, Sometimes it gets tedious keeping up with the same exact format week after week, uh, which is why it's nice to go off on little tirades every once in a while. So I'm going to go help read some more stories to my nephew and then uh, maybe help tidy up the house to get ready for some festivities tomorrow where we celebrate gratitude and being thankful for all the great things we have. And uh, and I will keep you all in mind. I appreciate the fact that some of you tune in each week to hear the ramblings <laughs> of my foolish mind. And I appreciate that. All right, Grandma. Na nový rok oslepičí krok, na třech krále o krok dále. And don't you forget it. Na nový rok oslepičí krok. That means the days are longer when when New Year comes around. Uh, days are longer. As a chicken's longer as a chicken step yeah, or something. Uh, <laughs> na nový rok once. But we're making pineapple delight. Mm -hmm. Gobble, gobble. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. At least those of you who celebrate Thanksgiving in the U.S. of A. I don't know that it spills the banks of... uh, of this particular nation. Uh, I know Canada has a Thanksgiving, but it's a little earlier in the year, so so uh, a little little late for you all, but uh, celebrating Thanksgiving, and here is the world-renowned Andrew. I, I don't have to use your last name if you don't want to. But. No, I'm Andrew, yes. Andrew. What's going on, man? Not much. I'm just enjoying a good beer here with Steve <laughs> and uh, old family friends. So it's good to be here. And Tom. Say hi, Tom. Yeah. Having a good I'm time. Now. Well, see ya. Happy Thanksgiving. You too. And my mom. Hi, Mom. Mom's got her mouth full. Hi. Yeah. Great grandma already left. So, well, my grandma. But our ch- our children's great grandmother. And uh, Andy's a, a family friend. And somehow or another, he found the podcast either through my Facebook or uh, some other means. I don't know how that happened. He. 
I didn't really yeah, release it publicly through my Facebook. It may have leaked through there. I don't know. How, well, how I don't. Even, I didn't even have a Facebook page when I found the podcast. <laughs> Were you just like, oh, look, po- podcast? Well, I saw, I, sometimes I would be a stalker and I would say, what, what's Steve up to? So I type his uh, name or something. I don't know how. Maybe something it was like popped that. up. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah. you're there. Talk to you later. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Yep. See you. See you around. So I found it and I was going through this. I was kind of in the stoic. Uh, getting into the stoic way because I had gotten into a little bit of the Freemasonry stuff. Okay. So, and that kind of way. Yeah, so there's kind of the same ideas, the four cardinal virtues, some of the things go through that. So that's... it's it's a, I find it a good way just to help keep your compass pointed the right way. Yes. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and kind of think about things a, a certain way. Like some people get, get enough, I guess, from their, from religion and such, but... Sometimes they, they stress more about heavenly things and not as much about getting by day to day here on planet Earth from time to time. So it's a good way to yes to focus on that and uh, take care of your neighbors and, and things like that. So now you are a father of how many children? Uh, I have two girls and two boys. And so, any advice on keeping a calm, stoic attitude while dealing with the frantic nature of that kind of a situation? Lots of good bubbly drinks. No, <laughs> that's, that's not a good. That's not a good uh, it could advice. Be, could be could fizzy be. water. Could be fizzy water. You know. Yeah. What's the yeah, What's the stoic point of view on that? Uh, <laughs> no, just you, you have to live by example. You have to orient yourself correctly. Um, it's all about your orientation and, how, and trying to lead a life of, of uh, example and service. So, yeah, we'll do our utmost. Yeah. Sometimes I, I don't do a great it's job. Not a, it's not easy. It's, <laughs> it's a learning experience. I don't have the answers, but uh, we'll do. You, know, you learn from somebody and pass it on to somebody else. So, well, thanks for appearing on the this this clandestine interview that I sprung at you, Andy. Yes. Clearly. Anything else you want to add That's to all people of the world? I do not. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today, and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, Steve. Carpe diem, man. <laughs> You need to move any- hey, podcast listeners, it's Steve. I'm at a gas station in Illinois heading back from uh, the trip. It's uh, been a good trip. Uh, yesterday, uh, after celebrating Thanksgiving, we if I haven't mentioned that already, I should mention that my brother and his wife had a little baby girl. Uh, Charlie, we're okay. We're, we're uh, on our way home now, uh, but yesterday I... Uh, uh, did some shooting with my dad and brother. We went out back in the yard and shot at targets t- together and had a lot of fun with that. Uh, and then uh, I ended up jumping off my grandma's porch and twisting my ankle real bad. So now it's all swollen and I'm limping, but uh, I'm doing okay. Uh, you know, premeditatio malorum, these things happen. Now on the way back with a dog and a two year old again, I'm trying to. Uh, Trying to uh, withstand the 12-hour drive home, and so far we're doing okay. How are you doing, Chrissy? Oh, not too bad. I ha- we have to decide, is this a challenge to our stoicism, the fact that Grandpa bought a DVD player for uh, the two-year-old? Yeah, we were trying to resist having a DVD player in the car, but Grandpa bought one. So Grandpa, now, yeah, we've been occasionally we've been having Scooby-Doo going in the back of the car, but we were trying to resist Spoiling our child with uh, screen time. But I wonder if this is bottoming been... out. This thing's showing me that the levels are really high. I hope this isn't too loud. Anyway. But yeah, we haven't had too much screen time yet. It's probably been under an hour in the first four hours. So. Yeah, so. We'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, alright. This might be the last recording from the road, but we're doing alright. And uh, my, my recommendations are just remember that people around you will drive absurdly <laughs> absurdly uh, from time to time and recall that you may get a flat tire now and again not this trip but we have had that happen before and you just got to roll with it's like suddenly your ETA changes from two hours from now to six hours from now and you're just going to have to deal with it and uh, your dog will occasionally make you think it's puking in the back of the car <laughs> but you just got to deal with it <laughs> all right everybody uh, carpe diem Thank you for listening to The Sunday Stoic. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe, rate, and review The Sunday Stoic on iTunes. 
Become a member of the Sunday Stoic team, earn rewards, and be an integral part of the show by becoming a patron at www.patreon.com slash sundaystoic. Contact the show by emailing sundaystoic at gmail.com or by leaving a voicemail at 501-503-3132. To find out more, visit www.sundaystoicpodcast.com. And as Steve always says, carpe diem. Carpe diem.